Morning everybody, and as um, I promised a couple of weeks ago, um, we would be doing pancake breakfast together. And unfortunately I'm cooking the pancakes, and, and uh, well, they're just behind me at the moment, and Shah's going to take over the camera in a tick. And, um, but I wanted to ask about, and it's a tradition in our house, you know, and every Sunday morning, uh, generally it's, it's my, uh, my job to, to cook pancakes. And traditions are a funny thing, aren't they? And I just wanted to also, um, before I started, was ask you, do you remember the good old-fashioned cooking shows? Now, I don't remember Martha Stewart, and I'm going to hand this to Shah. It's in a different place. And um, I remember Martha Stewart. Now, I'm going to hand this to put recipes together and show you how to do them and um, and cook um, recipes that everyone enjoyed. It's a bit of a far cry from the, the cooking shows of today, isn't it? Um, the cooking shows today are usually a group of two people. If you think of um, the likes of one particular show, it's two people up against the other groups of two people. They sit around, have a dinner party and basically just um, whinge and attack each other. <clears throat> pick holes in each other's food and they've forgotten this simple art of enjoying uh, a meal together. The simple um, love that they first had for cooking that put them together as a pair and the enjoyment they had with food. Uh, there's other shows like uh, the ones uh, like MasterChef where people have a passion and a joy for cooking but it's so competitive that you know they've, they've got to have the best dish and Often, um, you know, I don't watch them too much anymore, but um, I'm often impressed by the people who, when the judges look at their cooking, go, you know, we can tell you cook this with love. And it's the same with pancakes. They're cooked with love. As you can see, these, these two have melded together as one, but it's easy to separate them. The trick to cooking with pancakes is wait for the bubbles to just start disappearing and flip them over. Um, it's that easy. The batter mix is easy. It's just flour, eggs, milk, uh, butter, did I say that? A um, bit of salt, a little bit of sugar if you desire. Mix it all together and, um, and make it into a consistency, something like that. Um, try not to splash it on the floor like I've just done. Anyway, that'll be for some of the kids. Uh, but in the cooking shows uh, and, in, and in life, there has to be some sort of unity or agreement on what's what they're about. And, and the thing that, that gets me is... Um, there's none. It's always uh, one-upmanship. One's got to be better than the other. Even even in the even in the teams that of the team event ones that you see, they they um, they tend to um, try and outcompete even their own teammate. Um, saying you know, well you do this because I'm better than at this than you are, um, rather than just enjoying the experience together. Now that's not all for all the couples that do it. Some couples do enjoy the experience together, but. Um, some of them don't, and, and they're fractures, and you see them around the seams fracturing. And it gets me back to that the point of traditions. Traditions are there to reinforce family values, to reinforce what we do and how we go about it, how we work together. And traditions are important, um, but when traditions overtake and become the sole core of what it was originally about, then we have a problem. And I just wanted to step over them vital and... Um, Today, in, in chapter 4 of Ephesians, uh, I was reading, Therefore I, the prisoner of the Lord, this is Paul obviously right, beseech you to work, work, walk worthy of the calling with which you were called, with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing one with another in love, endeavouring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace, there is one body, one spirit, just as you were all called in the hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, one Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. It's a reminder to us that traditions, yes, are important, but when traditions overtake the value of being in unity with God, when traditions push us against one another and we fight against one another, then, then it's a problem. And tradition needs to be looked at, again, at, at its core. Why was it first put there? Our tradition as a family 
for, to cook pancakes on a Sunday is simply so that we can be together and cook pancakes. The girls are playing Lego or something at the moment. Shah's holding the camera, but you know, very soon the girls will put the, the things on the table, the condiments, we've taught them that word. They'll set the table, they'll get ready, and we'll sit down and we'll eat pancakes together and have a bit of fun. So let's just pray together, and then you can go and cook your own pancakes. And I better just quickly check these before I burn. that nice golden brownie look, but not quite that dark around the edges, but anyway, it is what it is. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for the simple things in life like pancakes and each other. Lord, we just pray that as this day unfolds, that each of us find a special blessing, a special way to celebrate you in our lives today. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, my friends, take care, God bless, and um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Enjoy pancakes.